Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really, really well. I'm currently filming the intro for this video from Indonesia. You'll probably be picking up some critter noises in the background. I hope they're not too distracting, but um, I kind of like them. It's like a little after 6 a.m. It's super peaceful here. I'm in the middle of a rice, rice patty. Today's video is actually the last full day of eating that I filmed before I left on this trip oh, about a week ago at this point. And um, I was just trying to use up some random leftovers rather than buying new food before leaving. So I actually have a recipe in this video that I've been sitting on that I've been very excited to share for some burritos. You'll see that shortly. I edited the footage for this video on a 12 hour flight on the way here and then I just recorded the voiceover and it was weird just kind of looking back on what I had eaten because since I've gotten here my diet has been very simple and quite healthy and very minimal processed food and I've lost like a pound or two so I I don't know I really feel good here probably when I get back to the states I will be cleaning up my diet a little bit more I feel like this has kind of reset my palate and I'm excited for that but anyway long intro I digress I hope you enjoy this video I had a really simple breakfast starting with a piece of this gluten-free toast by Little Northern Bakehouse which is my favorite toast currently. I pretty much always have a loaf in my freezer at this point and I sliced up some fresh tomato and mashed up half of a nice ripe avocado to put on top. Then on the side I put a little serving of scramble which is just some pan fried soft tofu. I don't use any oil, I just use a non-stick skillet, add some onion and garlic powder, a little pinch of turmeric, salt and pepper. I showed how I prepared this scramble a couple videos back and I'll link it down below rather than repeating all that information here. Then as I mentioned before, I was about to leave for a trip so for the rest of the day I ate leftovers to clear out my fridge and for lunch I had a little bit of leftover, um, again, not authentic pad thai but quick and easy pad thai from the previous night. And that also started with some soft tofu scramble prepared the exact same way as before just because I'm obsessed with it, if you couldn't tell, and also traditional pad thai usually contains some eggs, and I've tried making this recipe with the follow your heart vegan egg, but I'm not the biggest fan of that stuff, so I just stick to the tofu these days. So once I prepare the scramble, I actually remove it from the pan and set it aside so that it doesn't get too crumbled up in the stir fry. And then I add in some minced garlic and thinly sliced red onions, crank my wok up to high heat and fry that in a little bit of oil. Then I add in some green onions and some julienne carrots. Sometimes I'll add in some peppers as well, but this is just what I had on hand. I'll stir fry those for a few minutes. Then I added some brown rice pad thai noodles that I had soaked in hot water for I want to say about 10 minutes. They weren't entirely cooked, but they were almost there. So once I stir fry those for a little while, I add in some sauce, which is just a super simple combination of some soy sauce, tamarind paste, coconut sugar, and water. Once again, not a super authentic pad thai sauce. Then once the noodles have absorbed the sauce and they're fully cooked, I add mac in my tofu scramble, then some more fresh green onions, and then a big handful of bean sprouts, and stir fry that for uh, another minute maybe, just until the sprouts are slightly wilted. And what I'm showing here is a plate of leftovers, which uh, doesn't look quite as visually appealing as they were uh, freshly made the day before, but they were still pretty tasty. And I topped it with cilantro and some chopped peanuts and a squeeze of lime. So I want to pause for a second to give a huge shout out to Function of Beauty who are sponsoring today's video very kindly. They make personalized shampoo and conditioner. And I know that this channel is by no stretch of the imagination a beauty channel, but they are a vegan and cruelty free brand. And I really appreciate that their products are non-toxic. They don't contain any GMOs, parabens, or sulfates. So you fill out a really quick two minute quiz about your hair type and goals. So for example, my hair has been one of my biggest insecurities since college when I took Accutane the first time. A lot of it fell out and it's very dry and it's extremely fine plus I'm always very impulsively changing my hair color like last year I bleached it and dyed it red and then later it was purple so it's quite damaged and you also get to choose everything down to the color and the fragrance so I went with dye free minus pistachio fragrance and it smells so good I packed the shampoo and conditioner with me to Indonesia and it's super humid here and my hair weirdly enough is not a crazy frizz ball so I'm really enjoying it bottles also come with pumps which is a nice little detail so if any of you watching from the United States, Australia, Britain, or Canada are in the market for a new shampoo and conditioner, completely non-toxic, cruelty-free, vegan, and personalized. I'm going to have a link in the information box 
First 200 people to click on it will get 20% off their first Function of Beauty order. Now back to the recipes. Okay, I'm pretty proud of this last recipe. It's very epic. I actually made it before I even moved to this new place and I froze a bunch because I used to be obsessed with microwaved uh, bean and cheese burritos from the frozen section. I wanted to kind of recreate that, make something similar. I started out by making some rice in my Instant Pot. First, I toasted the dry rice in some oil with onions and garlic. And once it was slightly brown, I added a chopped fresh tomato and some minced jalapeno and I sauteed that for a few more minutes. And I also added in some adobo chili peppers to add some smoky flavor and a little bit of spice. Then I added in some water and a veggie boy cube and I steamed that until the rice was cooked. And next up for the filling, I stir fried some diced onions, some green peppers, these are actually poblano peppers, and some of the Morningstar vegan steak strips which are amazing if you haven't tried them yet. I also wanted to top the burritos with a cheese sauce, which I've shared in other videos before, and I'll have the recipe in the information box below, but just to recap quickly, it's a base of boiled potatoes, onions, carrots, and garlic, blended together with some soaked raw cashews, some nutritional yeast, onion, and garlic powder, and in this version, I also added some smoked paprika and a little bit of brine from a jar of pickled jalapenos to make it kind of like nacho cheese sauce. The very last piece of this burrito uh, creation puzzle was some homemade guac, which actually didn't make it to the, the leftover version because frozen guac isn't that good, but I'm gonna show it here anyway. I'm actually gonna show you the original plate, uh, the burrito that I assembled the day that I made this fresh back at the old place because the reheated frozen one I ate on this actual full day of eating was um, uh, a sad little, sad little guy. So that's everything that I ate in this day. Thank you so, so much for watching. This is gonna be the last video of this kind for a while. The next couple will be vlogs from Indonesia that I'm very excited about. I went to a Balinese cooking class yesterday and I got a lot of awesome footage and I'm very excited to edit that and share it with you guys. And also to recreate some of the dishes back in the States when I get home. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. Don't forget to check out the link in the information box below if you're interested in trying Function of Beauty, getting 20 percent off and I will see you in my next video.